one side on. <laughs> that looks pretty good. It's nice and tight and snug. Got six bolts holding it on. Nice and tight up along the side here. Probably wondering how I did that with all that metal in the way. Well, let me show you how. Okay, now the way you do this, or at least the way I did it, is I measured from the front of the trailer. I used that as my point of reference. And I measured back to here, which is the beginning of the, of the framework. And then to here, which is this little bracket. And to the back of the bracket, and then the back here. And I made all those corresponding marks on the wood. And I know I've got to come out almost an inch to clear all these bolts. And then on the ends, I have these bolts that hold the frame together. i got to make a little relief for these two. So what I did was I just cut, you can kind of see it right over here. Where I cut a little wider than I really needed to, to get around that stuff. But that's okay because inside this and flush with the top is going to be the 2x6 decking. So it's all going to work. Let me show you how that transfers onto the wood. So here we have where I marked it out and X'd it out. Now I just take my router and I'll cut the perimeter so that I don't get too wild and cut too much out. And then I'll, I'll have to do it in two cuts because the, the, the bit will have to do that in order to, to make it happen. Um, it has to go in two cuts. It just does because it won't cut three, three, seven eighths of an inch deep all in one cut. So I'm going to do that and then I'm going to cut a bunch of slots this way and then we'll bust them all out of there. You'll see what happens when I'm done here. Okay, you can see I routed out a bunch of bunch of lines here and then you see these areas where I just routed out this whole section there was a knot there and I didn't want to try to chisel a knot out because it doesn't follow the grain so it's just nice and clean and so the rest of these I'll just take a hammer and knock them out of here and then a chisel and clean it up There we go, nice and cleaned up. Now all we got to do is do the release for the bolts on the ends and then we can clamp this thing in place. There we go, room for the bolt. Then a washer and a lock nut on the back of each one. There we go. All done. Alright, well there it is. 
I got the perimeter all bolted on. Well, except for the back. I ran out of bolts. But I'm also running out of daylight. But I got the holes drilled. And so I just got to bolt the pockets on the back. But that's what it's going to look like. And then down in this, in this pocket here that I've created, right in here, those boards over there off that barn door are going to go right in here. Tongue and groove 2x6 all the way to the back. It's going to go across because it's not long enough to go lengthwise. I'd prefer it if it went lengthwise just because that's the direction opposite of these, but that's just not the way it is. And I got to work with what I've got. So see you next time.